It's a word we use all the time, but it's put a gymnastics coach in a world of pain. The former Olympian's been sacked after calling his young athletes beautiful. He says his career and reputation is in tatters. The fear I have is that it's career ending. And a beautiful Anthony Hudson handball was too. Beautiful instinctive play off Burton and Avril. It's a phrase used every day in sport. Beautifully executed. Beautiful form. Beautiful pass, beautiful play, beautiful team. But now the word beautiful could spell the end of Lindsay Nyland's career. At the time I thought, look, this is a terrible mistake. Like, it's just a mistake. He was once one of our most successful male gymnasts, competing at the Olympics and meddling at the Commonwealth Games. But if Lindsay Nyland of Australia scores 8.6 or better on this routine, he will take silver, Shaquet will get bronze. But Lindsay Nyland's reputation is in tatters. The 65-year-old, now unemployed for the first time in his professional life, sacked over what he thought was a harmless phrase in an email. For a children's gymnastic coach, that's probably the worst thing someone could accuse you of doing. For the past two and a half years, Lindsay has coached the high performance squad at the Five Dock Leisure Centre in Sydney's Inner West. The squad trained 18 hours a week for over five days, so we get to know each other very well and obviously we have great relationships with the parents because they have to be and they are very supportive of their, their children. But earlier this year, Lindsay sent an email that would end in his sacking. And in that email, I said words to the effect, hi all, um, our beautiful level eight women's artistic gymnasts, and I named them, all achieved apparatus ribbons in today's state trial. Lindsay attached a photo of four of his athletes sitting on the balance bar. The director of leisure replied, congratulations to everyone involved. But months later, Lindsay was gone. The use of the word beautiful to describe the women's gymnastics team, uh, and I was accused of sexually objectifying the gymnasts on that basis. The City of Canada Bay Council, which runs the centre, also accused Lindsay of undermining and showing a lack of respect towards management, having an unapproved dinner with the parents of his gymnasts, and transporting gymnasts by car without parent approval. The reasons are bogus. But it's the accusation Lindsay, a father of three, sexually objectified his team of teenage girls, which is the most damning. They've not just sacked me, they've destroyed my character and reputation. Nick Fousen was one of the parents to receive the email. Yes. The word itself, it's now become such a point of controversy, didn't ring any alarm bells whatsoever. Nick's daughter trains at the centre. He says they both, along with other parents, wrote to the council questioning the decision. This is not an issue. He has the highest integrity and the highest degree of care for our kids. Some would say you just can't make these comments about young women anymore. Look, it's probably political correctness gone a bit too far. I mean, I think the word beautiful could be used in a wrong context, I, I absolutely. Uh, but when you look at the context of the way it was used, no normal person would read that and think that's, in, that's inappropriate. Lindsay claims the term beautiful is widely used in the sport, even on Five Dock Leisure Centre's Facebook page and Gymnastics New South Wales. We don't see evidence of a proper investigation. I'm not sure how you can investigate without speaking to the parent group, and we haven't been spoken to. Lindsay says he refuted all council's accusations with evidence, but says he was told they had all been proven. I think they were expecting me just to accept some payout and go quietly. Well, for me, you know, gymnastics is my hobby and passion. It's not just a job for me. In a statement, the City of Canada Bay Council told us it does not comment on staffing and as the matter is subject to legal proceedings, the council is unable to comment. Now, Lindsay says he has no choice but to fight his 
sacking in court. All I can do is, you know, fight a good fight and try and get my job back. <laughs>